Good evening and welcome back to Prime Up Midlife. It's Friday evening and we had the local fish van round today down at work. So I thought I would get some fish. But the thing is, I never buy fish in the supermarkets because I don't like the thought of it. But this guy came from our broth, which is on the coast, and he comes down to Octorarder, um, where I work. So we're like, yep. Let's try some fish. So I got two pieces of haddock because Patrick really likes fresh fish and so he's cooking dinner tonight. So I thought I would check and see because I was like, this is quite expensive. But I would really like if you could tell me what the fish prices are where you are because I don't know. So as you can see, weight wise, that is one pound, eight ounce, two ounce. So one pound, 10 ounces. And that is roughly 737 grams. So just, you know, like three quarters a kilo or something. So we're going to have a look because what I did notice, and let me show you this. So we'll pop that over there. And we'll bring this out. So mainly when I have fish, it is, you know, the frozen stuff that's battered or whatever, or it's from the fish and chip shop. Now, look at the size of that. That's like over double what we would normally get for one portion. Look at it. So this is obviously not just going to be one meal for Patrick and I. This is going to be at least two, probably three. Um... At the moment, I'm thinking we'll use one of them for just doing with, you know, a bit of butter and in the oven or the air fryer and just, you know, gentle cooking. The other bit, I'm thinking making goujons with the homemade breadcrumbs and then possibly fish cakes with the tail end of it. Because that is way too much for either of us to eat as one portion. But... What I have noticed is in the shops, your portion would be probably, you know, that bit from the middle. That would be your portion of haddock. Um, in the chip shop, you'd probably get a bit bigger, maybe about that. But you certainly don't get this. This is huge. So, for anyone who buys fish on a regular basis, please tell me, for the, this is seemingly from Shetland. Um, which obviously is way up north in Scotland. So this was landed in Shetland, brought down to our broth. Um, and these two pieces cost me £17. At which point I nearly dropped because I was like £17 for two bits of fish. Are you having a laugh? But look at the size of them. So then you have to think, well, that's three meals for two. So then if you take it down, so that is like, if you say it's 15, so that's three meals, it's five pounds. So say five pound 50 a meal for two. So that's two pound 50 a head for the fish. That's actually not too bad. It's still bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. I just nearly had a heart attack with the cost for a bit of fish for two of us. Because I just said to the man, I want a couple of bits of haddock, you know, because we're going to have dinner. Did not realise the size of them. So this is maybe something, after talking about yesterday's budgeting and looking at local suppliers and stuff, I mean, yes, 500 grams of mince is 500 grams of mince. But, you know, three meals at £2.50 a meal, for the fish part anyway, and then some veggies, isn't actually too bad to have some top quality fresh fish fish. You know, like real fish, not fish that's been frozen and stuff. Can you tell I don't cook fish very often? I have no clue what I'm talking about. But Patrick said he liked fresh fish. We had the fresh fish man there. So I thought, why not? Um, and there's so much more stuff he has. He has like the hot smoked salmon. He has cod roe. He has samphire, which is seemingly something that grows in the sea. He has all these things. So I may have to experiment. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would show you just as a a comparison that we can tell each other, you know, how much would this have cost you? And that's why I went and weighed it. So 
Weight wise, it is one pound ten ounces, which seemingly equates to seven hundred and thirty seven grams. It is Haddock from Shetland. So yeah, let me know whether this was a good a good deal, a bad deal. I don't think you can compare it to supermarkets because supermarket stuff is normally frozen then brought out. This, as far as I know, came down the hill, you know, just basically came down the road. So we shall see. But let me know what you think in the comments and I am going to wrap this up now and put it back in the fridge so that Patrick can be in charge of dinner tonight because he says he likes fresh fish, he likes it just cooked simply. So I was like, guess what, baby? I got fresh fish tonight. You're on dinner. So I shall let you know how that goes. Catch you later.